Two years ago marked the release of the third Power Rangers movie ever released in theaters, but this time it was a full on reboot of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers simply titled Power Rangers. Produced by Lionsgate in conjunction with Saban Entertainment, when the Power Rangers movie was released, it was met with mixed reception. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Me personally, I loved it. I thought it was one of the more underrated movies of 2017. And a while back, I did a video expressing my thoughts on the movie, and you can click that video up on the top right corner. Sadly, the Power Rangers reboot movie was a box office disappointment grossing at around 85 million domestically and 142 million worldwide just barely just barely passing the 100 million production budget and i honestly thought this movie would revitalize the power rangers franchise bring it back to the mainstream eyes so to speak since the series has been in decline for such a long time i thought this type of movie would bring it back to the mainstream much like how the Bayformers movies brought Transformers back to the mainstream. But sadly, that was not the case. And so plans of a sequel were completely scrapped. And it's a shame too because Lionsgate actually teased the Green Ranger that the Green Ranger was coming very soon. So we'll never see a movie Green Ranger, unfortunately. But it seems that not all hope is lost. In February last year, Saban ended their toy deal with Bandai to switch with Hasbro. And in May that year, Hasbro fully acquired the rights to the Power Rangers franchise. Hasbro is now the main owner, the sole owner of the Power Rangers franchise. Well, Toei actually has some ownership of the franchise as well, since they own the source material of Power Rangers Super Sentai. But you, you get my drift. Hasbro is the owner of the franchise now. And with Power Rangers Beast Morphers being the first season ever produced by Hasbro, Hasbro is now in talks with Paramount Pictures to produce another Power Rangers movie. Hasbro has had a very strong relationship with Paramount ever since the success of the Bayformers franchise as well as Bumblebee. And now Hasbro is counting on Paramount to make sure their movie succeeds this time unlike the Lionsgate movie. Nobody knows if this movie will be either a reboot or a sequel, but if I had to guess, it's most likely, very likely going to be a reboot. The Power Rangers movie from 2017 was a flop. It did not do well, and it just would not make sense to make a sequel to a movie that tanked in theaters, especially in Hollywood land, because... Hollywood superhero movies rely on very big budget, so making a direct sequel to a failed movie would be financial suicide. A reboot makes a lot more sense because you're starting from scratch again and you want to make sure your version does well. You don't want to have any ties to a failed movie. So to any Power Rangers fans of the 2017 movie who really wanted to see a sequel, Sorry guys, but that's just the way things work. Which brings up the next question. Will Paramount's Power Rangers movie be a success? To be honest, I do not know. I mean, the Power Rangers brand has not been as popular as it was in the 90s. I mean, subsequent season did well, but not as well as Power Rangers. And they sold well solely because of brand name. Like... Power Rangers, um, RPM, or SPD, or any of those subsequent seasons, Dino Thunder, they did well solely based on brand name alone. If they were any other tokusatsu adaptation, they would have flopped. See Kamen Rider Dragon Knight, for example. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was lightning in a bottle. It was the right show at the right time. It had dinosaurs to cater to the Jurassic Park crowd, it had high school teenagers to cater to the Saved by the Bell crowd, and it was the only live action superhero show that was airing on Saturday mornings at the time. Everything else was a cartoon, so it's hard to replicate that kind of success, even in Hollywood. The 2017 reboot was an attempt to revitalize the brand, but that didn't work either. 
toy sales didn't help either. And mind you, Toys R Us was still in business when the Power Rangers movie was in theaters. Just imagine toy sales of the Paramount slash Hasbro Power Rangers movie reboot in a post Toys R Us world where most people, most kids don't buy toys. Instead, they buy video games or games for their smartphones or tablets. If Paramount and Hasbro want the Power Rangers movie to be a success, they really, really need to shake things up. Now that brings me to the last question. Will this new Power Rangers movie be any good? Well, I'll let you know when the movie comes out. I'm Ali, and you're watching A-Square.